If I got booked in New York right now, and somebody uh, told me that it was only one song that I could play, and it would represent Baton Rouge, I would have to say MC Nero. Got a lot of respect. My first time experiencing Baton Rouge rap was when I heard Got a lot of respect. You put a Nero song in right now, on, 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 club gonna go crazy. Anywhere, any club, if you play Got a lot of respect, the whole club gon' jump. That MC Nero song, man, it meant so much to so many people. If you could live in that time and see what that song did to a crowd. I ain't played it anywhere. And old and young get stupid behind that song. That song is about two minutes long. It wasn't really like the super, super duper professionally mixed and mastered, but that shit goes off. I can just vividly remember right now DJ Al putting a needle on that record and just hitting that record. Get with the real dick, kicking live in the 90s. Oh, fools up on the check. Uh, you don't even hear me, though. They talk me, stop it, but I look up with the flow. Let me flow, flow to who I'm talking about. A fool named Nero. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, you know, it, 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 they wasn't hearing it at first. So I'm outside one day, and this guy's walking down the street. And that, my brother was out there, and another couple of friends was out there. And he was saying that he was a rapper. Well. They told him that I do music. So I spoke to the guy, I'm like, so you rap, right? He said, yeah. I said, well, I have some equipment in my room. So what you call yourself? And he said, Nero. He had a big giant studio. Shantae had a big giant. <laughs> this was way back in the 80s, like, you know, 90, 80, 88, 89, something like that. So we went back in the room and we just started making stuff. It was crude. I didn't have a lot of equipment. Didn't have a microphone. I mean, he actually rapped his first song through a pair of headphones. I used to have a few dollars on me. I had to pay him, you know. Of course, everybody, you know, do things, you know, get paid. Nero was a unique type of individual. Nero took go-go and house music and mixed it together and was able to make the club rock, you know what I'm saying? And that was pretty hard, especially when everybody was looking for the gangster style rap. On the style that I was rapping, he could switch it up, too. It's kind of like a different style. Which, uh, I'm in the style switch uh, emperor. I beat the emperor. I be that fooler, but all you hate ya, best to make cooler, cooler. Shut them down, up, let loose round us. Stouts, I found a fool, I'm a clown up. I saw you froze up when I came closer. Fool, we soldiers strike like a cobra. Mess with the foreigner, call the coroner. I'm like Rambo, the one man warrior. Down south, fuck, what me be about, boy? Keep my name, boy, about your mouth, boy. I do talent shows with Nero, and just to see that, you know, that line between that, he's somewhere that we not, you know what I mean? He a guy that's respected throughout the city, and that's a rap. It ain't New York, it ain't California, but it's kind of his own thing down here. Nero ended up putting us on every show and letting us open up for him, and we weren't sure, we're like, what is he getting out of it? You know what I mean? But that was just the type of dude that he was. And he really opened doors for us. To the man who let us start doing shows in back rooms back in 94. It's a lot of respect. I don't see me over. So, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it. 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 I'm not doing it